I'm the Wizard of Oz if Oz was a fish fry in July. Call me Master of the Cracked Fingers. One song spins forward, the other back to repeat itself. For fake, if I was Anita Baker's man, I'd take her for a master's and hit it once and shake her hand daily. Baby, I'm the layaway payment on a Ferris wheel. My songs orbit parking lots and rent parties like the crazy lady's <coughs> eyes. When she finds out her lover man already left, she's like tripping off the beat, kind of dripping off the meat grinder, tripping off the... One of my songs that's spinning backward while the other plays forward like sugar mixing in to make the grape. My joints are the pinwheels in this parade of moonwalks and up rocks. I'm like, hi there. Y'all play the rear? This whole year, my year. This whole year, my year. Thank you. Mm. That was Doom talking. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say something like that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, catches his uh, his breath. Yes. On the, uh, the handout sheet it says Penguin published you in 2009. Yeah. But before that, the book was out in some form. Can you explain that? Um, the, the book was out in some form before 2009. Well, it won. Oh, well, yeah, no, yeah, how it worked was the um, Penguin published the book because I won that award. So. The National Poetry Series was what brought my book to Penguin, and so that's how it worked. So it was, I mean, the poems were out in journals and things like that, but not as a book form until Penguin published it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so I have to ask, do you still uh, do you still follow Spike? You know what? Yeah, I do. That's a, that's a really good question because I, I always admired him. You know, I mean, I, I a long time ago had to make a distinction between the man or the woman and his or her art, right. you know, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to deal with Miles Davis, I wouldn't have been able to deal with Picasso, there are a lot of people that would have had X out, and I'm not that morally magnanimous, so I've decided to split it up, like, right, you know, there's Spike, the guy that was, you know, not, you know, congenial to me, and then there's his, his work, which tends to go on about half an hour longer than it should, but otherwise is really terrific, usually, you know, and so yeah, I've always been an advocate for his movies, just not for him. Right on. Yeah, you can do that. There's one time. There's a there's a town in Indiana called Martinsville, Indiana. It used to be the headqu headquarters of the Ku Klux Klan. And I went to Indiana University as an undergrad. And one time I was driving through Martinsville to get to Indianapolis. I look up and there's this big Got Milk sign where they signs Got Milk where they have somebody with a milk mustache. This is Spike Lee on a, on, a, on a billboard in the middle of what used to be the headquarters of the Klan. Right? And I was like, oh man, I got, you know, this was before cell phone cameras. And I'm like, oh god, when I come back through, I'm taking a picture of that, right? <laughs> Came back three hours later and it was gone. Oh, They'd already taken it down and put Cal Ripken up instead. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I mean, so I mean, I think Spike Lee represents a lot of things that I respect. It's just that that particular instance was a. Yeah, no, I, I can yeah. definitely get down with that idea of separating the, the artist from their work, sort of. Um, so, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, following up on, the, on this question of separating the, the arts from the work, everything you read here today was sort of pulling those two things together, it seems. So I wonder if, if you could just riff on that idea for a second. Like, what you do this when you, you know, with people like Spike Lee and even others, but um, is there any sense in which you apply that idea to yourself, or or do you? sort of go the other way when you're thinking about true. You know, I, yeah, you know, I've got this, you know, complicated idea that I haven't really um, worked out as well as I should have yet, that, that there's a difference between um, being truthful in, in, in art and being honest in art. And so I don't, I don't care if my poems are true, but I hope that they're honest. You know, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that I try to do is, you know, these are poems, so I don't try to render them in any way that would make a connection between the, the poem and me necessarily, right? Like in that Wheels of Steel poem, you know, I was joking, but I was also very serious. I would never say that, that kind of stuff. I mean, that's kind of the fun of writing something like that is that it's not me, you know. Um, I'm working on a, my new book is all about Jack Johnson, the uh, first African-American heavyweight champion, and it's all persona, like it's all persona. And it was this really crazy thing because I'm working, trying to, 
rather than meld the, 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 the artist and the, the art, I was really making a crazy separation. I mean, so a man who was a you know, champion of the heavyweight champion in 1909, and here I am, and you know, I started working on it in 2005, I guess, or 2006. So here I am, almost 100 years later, writing these poems. And so by virtue, they have to be artistic constructs, you know what I mean? Um, you know, he was a pretty great guy and also not so great. And so like negotiating that, you know, was, was complicated. You know? I don't know if that answers your mm -hmm. question. Yeah. Absolutely. Other questions? Do you have any books for sale today? You know what I do? I brought three copies of it because I didn't know if, if anybody was going to be interested in that. So, yes. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's an answer that I get. I, as a question I'd love to answer. Um, other questions for you? I, I, you don't have to have them. Yes, sir. Is your current position a um, a one year position? No, I'm a I'm a uh, I'm on t I'm an assistant professor. I'm tenure track, mm -hmm. but I won this award that is usually given to tenured uh, tenured faculty. So they turned it into this one year uh, endowed professorship thing because I wasn't supposed to get it. They were very nice to me. Um, yeah, and, and, and so as a result, I get to come and do readings and things as part of the position. So, uh, otherwise, I'll be down there for the foreseeable future, once they boot me out. <laughs> um, uh, like I said, you don't have to have them if you don't want to. There's a lot of folks. Okay. Well, hey, thanks again. Thanks for... for <laughs>25 minutes trying to find a parking spot. Uh, so now I think we are all united and let's let's go tear down the, we're in the building. Let's go up to the fourth floor and take over the president's office. Right. After we all get right. to it. No, we'll go to. That's what I'm talking about. And I got the, uh, anyway, God, it's, it's hard yeah, for you folks. I'm mad too. That's why I'm usually here at 6.30 in the morning. I'm, I'm the only one in the parking structure. But there's a board of governors meeting today, so they had to say nine slots. I counted about 30 when I walked through there from way the other side of campus. But, but that's you know. Anyway, I'm I'm not uh, you know. Here's what I'm I'm here to do, is um, I just wanted to talk a little bit briefly about this new collection that has come out. Uh, I brought a couple copies too. Um, Today's a really full day of readings and things like that. Uh, for me, that's why I'm running a little behind. But um, this was an anthology of stories, poems, creative nonfiction uh, by everyone from uh, Emily Dickinson to Eminem, Bob Dylan to Jack White, Michael Moore is in here, uh, John Sales is in here, Quincy Troop is in here, the wonderful Melba Joyce Floyd is in here, Walt Whitman. Uh, and, and Willa Cather, so I thought I'd read you all Paul's case. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but a lot of people are in here represented by poems, songs, slash um, stories, and creative nonfiction. They're like an excerpt from uh, Dude, Where's My Country, from Michael Moore and everything. Like that. Um, it just came out, it's, and, and one thing to explain to people, as long as I'm in, in person doing it too, is the poem is not a book about work. Oh, Caroline Maughan's in it too. Yeah. She's got dibs on a book already. Um, but it's not a book about just working. It's a book about, uh, or it covers all aspects of what working class life is. Uh, and, and can be. I am from the working class. Somebody in Minneapolis said that ML Legal had discovered a new form of kitsch, uh, which I don't know what that means, but I know it's not nice, uh, whatever it is. But that person is full of crap because this is comes from my experience uh, coming from the working class, still.